In this video, I'm gonna share with you all of the sound qualities of the Soul Performance Sport Cats and why this should be your first mod on your 2020 Corvette. Hey, what's going on, dude crew? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog, and welcome to a fantastic day here in Louisville, Kentucky. Behind me, my 2020 Corvette that I just installed, the Soul Performance Sport Cats. Now, I've got a few hundred miles behind these, but most importantly, I want to share with you everything that I'm experiencing with this car after a few hundred miles install, and then also some really important things that I think that you need to know before you install the sport cats on your own so we're going to do a cold start before and after the install and i'm going to have the decimal meter to show you the exact differences between before and after there's a great amount of sound quality difference we're going to go over some in cabin noise i think it's very important to know that you're making a mod spending a lot of money on this mod to make sure you don't get any ill effects and then we're going to go over uh some launch sound differences be before and after I think when you have a, an American sports car like this, that we just have pure American horsepower, freedom and bald eagles out of this car, that you wanna have a fantastic sound. I think General Motors did a disservice to the car by not doing that, but there's a lot of laws through all the states and probably California is the one to blame. We're just gonna blame them. They have to be really aggressive on the cats that come along with it. So these sport cats give it a little bit of extra flow with no check engine lights and all that stuff. And then we're gonna show you exactly what the decimal meter reading is when we have the car on the dyno. So come along with me, let's get a cold start. I did this a few days ago and we'll show you exactly what the decimal reader is on a cold start. And then I'm gonna shoot right back to the brand new cold start of these sport cats. I'm gonna let this uh, die down from my talking, get a baseline and then start her up. All right, so we are about the same distance as last time. And just like last time, I'll shut my mouth and we will start it up. Not bad, not bad. Only about 10 decibels higher on initial start. So we saw 101 and we saw 111. It's amazing what those 10 decibels do on this. I had some friends come over last night and they wanted to hear the car and I said, yeah, come on over. And then I realized it was just after 10 p.m. And I'm like, oh, guys, never mind. We can't do it. I don't want to make my neighbors mad. And then my neighbor was out, so we started and they love it. So it's amazing sound quality out of this. So let's go do the other couple tests. All right, so we're a little bit different venue here. We're going to do the launch test. I'm going to show you the difference between pre and post sport cat install and just so you know the video that i'm taking right here not at the drag strip but right here i am shooting with my rode video mic go pro plus it's an expensive microphone it makes great quality sounds but uh, the camera that i'm about ready to show you was my canon g7x does a really good job but uh, you can still hear everything that i'm going to show you so we shot the video of the car in the drag strip that you're getting ready to see back in April down in Aiken, South Carolina at the uh, House of Hook drag strip. And then this one we're doing here on my friend's private road again. So here it is. That is an absolutely amazing sound quality difference. And I think I said it earlier, because I'm shooting this over so many days and so many different uh, venues, 
but this is the way a Corvette should sound from the factory. Um, but uh, let's do, I think the most important test, and that's in the cab with everything on, no radio on, gonna have the AC on, but uh, all the windows up, the top on. I think that's really, really important, and I think you're gonna be really impressed. How's it going? You got a new one? Yeah. Looks nice. Thank you, I appreciate it. We put we we put uh, we put new exhaust on it, and that's the way it should sound. But uh, so we're out testing the the sound quality. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. I've had it for about two and a half months. I got sixty three hundred miles on it already. They're made to drive. They are made to drive. You're right about that. Thanks. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Hell yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, guys. So little interrupted there, which is awesome, I love it. So we are um, on the corner of the interstate here. As you can see, there's an off ramp there and we have the decibel reader right here in the cup holder. Mrs. Chevy Dude is the one recording and we are going to get on the interstate as a normal human being, not Chevy Dude style. And uh, we're just gonna set the cruise at about 70, 71 miles an hour so you can hear the interior noise Again, using a really good mic, this should pick up well. And we'll do a couple other tests when we get down the road and I'll explain what I'm doing. So you can see we're hovering right around 60, just sitting here doing nothing. I got the temperature control at 72 degrees on auto. I'm actually gonna turn it up to 73 so it slows the fan down a little bit. And here we go. slow down a little bit here so I can punch it some safely. And here's a punch. I completely let out on the throttle there just let it coast down. All right, you can stop. All right, guys, we got it a little, uh, underpass here. All right, guys, so there you have it. I gotta say, very, very impressive. Obviously, I've known all this stuff before I recorded this video. As I said earlier, about three or 400 miles on the car with the Sport Cats. And I think most people who do this upgrade are only gonna do the Sport Cats. And uh, Soul Performance is definitely the people to use on this stuff. The technology that goes into this, the heat wrap that they have, around the Sport Cats is extremely important. They're using some of the best people out there, PTP, Turbo Blanket, absolutely amazing people to use. And um, in a nutshell, uh, there's no difference on the interior of the cabin. Chevrolet has done a fantastic job of quiet tuning to make sure that they drown that out. Now, one thing I didn't test because it's really tough to do, if I have the windows down and the top off, uh, you can hear that exhaust and it sounds absolutely amazing. Just freedom spewing out all over the place. So let's talk about it. C6, a big, big topic of C6 was to pull the most bottom left fuse, if I remember right. People use the wild to mild conversion or mild to wild conversion, I guess it was called. Um, and then uh, with the C7, they came out with the engine sound management mode inside the driver information center, the driver settings of the radio, and we have that in this as well. And also based off of the way we dial the drive mode for the car, we get different audio sounds from the exhaust. Well, um, the C7, people were telling me, hey, pull this fuse. I didn't see any difference when I had uh, regular exhaust on there. And now that I have this exhaust, I pulled this 
Fuse. I think this is Fuse number 21. And uh, open there, I dropped it. And I've never seen a fuse like this before, but that could be my ignorance, right? That's not anything new on that part. But this is a three prong fuse. So you're not gonna be able to pull this fuse for the C8 unless you have like a 1LT maybe, but two and three LT people, you're definitely not gonna be able to pull this fuse. The reason why is this fuse goes in to the digital rear view mirror as well. And I've been driving around for about five days with this fuse pulled so that I could uh, give a good assessment on it. And heck no, heck no. My confidence level was not there when I was merging in traffic, when I was merging um, with my windows being tinted. It's extremely tough to see out the back window um, of this car. So I get a glare off of the window temp, so not good at all. But I'm gonna show you for the sake of which fuse this is. So if somebody comes up with a different aspect, I was Googling this a little bit. I'm not on forums and I'm not in Facebook groups. There's just way too much negativity in these places. So I just don't get involved with them. And uh, everybody always has to seem to pound their chest and say they know something that nobody else does. So I just, I have no desire to be in there. But I did Google this just to see if there was anything out there yet. And I saw somebody said that they uh, knocked off one of the fuse I don't know, mail connectors, I guess you call it. And uh, they got a service engine light. I did not get a check engine light at all um, with this out. So I just didn't have functionality of the digital rear view mirror. So let me show you where this fuse is. There are multiple fuse panels in the C8. This one that we're gonna go after is the one right back here behind your head as a driver and trying to do this one-handed is not always the easiest but we're gonna pop this butt thing off here i think i just broke it we'll see nope didn't break it felt like i did those tabs are easily breakable and then what you want to do is you want to be very very careful on this because there is a wire connected to this uh speaker right here is we just pull this straight out you can see this comes out really really easy again doing it one-handed and then again wires back here so you want to be really careful and then pull up on this right here and just pull this to the side so now back here there is a fuse box and at the bottom we hit this guy right here we pull that out voila we have fuses so we pulled this fuse right here this is a 15 amp see if i can get in there a little closer this fuse right here 15 amp it's right next to another 15 amp and there's a 15 and a 10 above it so uh it's on the bottom right hand side of the top fuse panel panel before uh all the bigger ones that are down here so it's at the top right there all right so we have that all put back in last couple snaps we're all good one thing you want to make sure you do is when you put this bottom back in there is a little tube for the speaker right here you just want to make sure that it gets into the hole seats into the hole i don't think it's something that's really that big of a deal but uh just make sure you do that and again i don't think it's that big of a deal to pull the fuse i don't think there's any benefit to it uh, especially if you change out these sport cats uh to the sole performance sport cats so when i start this up Still sounds good. And really, I truly believe that when we uh, start the car up, we want a really good sound to impress our friends, impress anybody around us, stuff like that. The issue comes in line where that fuse is gonna wanna be pulled is when you're in touring mode. So when I'm in touring mode, oops, I just put it in track mode. We're gonna click it back here to touring mode. Now you can see that it just went quiet. I'm gonna rev it a little bit. So it still sounds good. I'm gonna put it in sport mode. You can hear that change hopefully. A little bit different, a little bit different sound quality with those open. Back into tour. Back into sport. So that would be the benefit of pulling that fuse, but I think the risk of losing this mirror up here this mirror is a huge huge benefit we're going to talk about that in a future video i'm going to show you all the blind spots in this car um because they are worse than the c7 but we're going to talk about that in another video and it should be a short video just to basically show you stuff and i have some really good streets that i think that are all over middle America or all over the US and uh, that you're going to come and play with so uh guys i think i did a really good job 
with uh, showing you this exhaust, showing that it's a absolutely awesome and epic mod that you want to put on your 2020 Corvette. And I think it's the very first mod that you want to put on the 2020 Corvette. So um, as always, I really appreciate your comments and your thumbs up on the video. Share as well. So as always, thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day and drive safely.